Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Casio G-Shock MTG, MTG B1000D-1A, otherwise known as the MTG B1000 collection. The MTG is the almost top tier version of the G-Shock. Uh, the only higher versions are the MRGs. MTG basically stands for Metal G-Shock. There are other Metal G-Shocks here, but this is the highest highest end metal G-Shock under MRG. So it's the second highest end G-Shock. Um, there's just so many different types of categories within G-Shock watches. I like to play around with all the different sort of subsets and things like that. One of the things that impressed me when this version of the MTG first came out was the wearability. Casio G-Shocks have never been small watches and there have been some which are more wearable than others. But for me, as someone who has smaller wrists but that loves this design, I'm always interested in the various G-Shock models that are more wearable. This is still close to, I think, 52 millimeters wide, um, a little bit longer in terms of height, but they did a very good job of making it wearable. And on the bracelet, I think it has a great cohesive look because most versions of this version of the MTG don't come on a bracelet, but on the bracelet, I think it looks fantastic. And what Casio was able to do is com combine steel with other materials such as their polymer to create something which is durable, comfortable to wear, water resistance to 200 meters, you have higher end features such as a sapphire crystal, and an all analog display. I want to show you, for example, here on the lugs, how they it's an articulating hinge style lug that works very well in terms of making the watch comfortable on larger or smaller wrists. So one of the things that is important about this watch is the app. Yes, this is a Bluetooth connected watch. It also has um, the ability to sync with signals from the atomic clock. But I really want to focus on the Bluetooth element because with this generation of the MTG, and this, and this goes for some other Casio G-Shock models as well, there's a, real, there's a new way of using them. So you see here, here's the app. So I'm pushing this pusher down for a second, three and a half seconds, and it's going to connect. You see there on the phone, it's going to connect with the app. Now, why, why do we want to do that? Why do we want to connect the phone with the app? Well, there's a few different thing, reasons why you want to do that. The first thing is that this watch has alarms, a, a stopwatch, timers, calendar, various different types of things which to set are not the most straightforward process on an analog dial. You have a lot of systems that make it relatively straightforward to set everything if you have the instructions, but to really set the watch, you really want to use the app. It also has the ability to update uh, the watch with new software such as t for, for time zones and things like that but you can do things such as set the various times. So for example, I'm gonna swap the GMT time or the second time, it's actually not GMT. I'm gonna swap the second time zone in this lower subdial that has two hands with the main one. So I'm gonna go in the app here. It's switched. And then I have to say send to watch. And there we go. So now my settings have been updated and well, actually, the funny thing is the both of the times are the same. So in there, it didn't change anything. I just noticed that. But but that's essentially how we, you would do it. You just go in the app and you can do other things, for example, like turn off alarms, set the alarm, set the countdown timer and do that very quickly and easily from within the app. But most importantly, I think the app is going to be useful because that means you never actually have to set the watch yourself using Bluetooth. It'll update the time. If you travel, it'll update the time zones. It's very, very convenient to allow the watch to be as accurate and reliable as possible without you having to fiddle with it. So it's sort of a set and forget watch. The information on the dial by default is quite useful. You have here, for example, the main time, the second time zone in 12 hour format. Right next to it, it's hard to see, there's a very small AM PM indicator so that you know if it's AM or PM, not just in the second time zone, but there's a synchronized AM PM for the main time zone. Here you have the date and here you have uh, a multi-use hand that would tell you different types of things such as the day of the week, the, the power reserve indicator, things like that, depending on the mode that you're on. So there's a lot to say about the Casio G-Shock MTG, especially this, this, this new MTG B1000 collection. And a lot more will be discussed in the review. I think what's important is that this is a mature G-Shock. This represents a, a, a more sophisticated way of enjoying G-Shock. I have to say that having an analog dial versus a digital dial makes it seem more classy. Having it be all metal gets 
a little bit more of a, a mature look. Like I said, it still has all the durability of a G-Shock, but a little bit more of a high-end look. At a retail price of $900, that's a lot more than many people think about when they want to buy a G-Shock, which usually is between, I think, about two and $300. But at $900, like I said, you get a lot more. You get a fantastic case. You have a sophisticated modern movement. You have a great looking dial. You have good materials. So when I wear this watch, it does not feel overpriced at $900. It feels like the right watch at $900. It's just that people are still accustomed to spending less on G-Shock. So it's an effort for the brand to move up market. But if you, if you can stomach the price and you feel comfortable doing that, I think you're going to have a really great product experience. There are different versions of the MTG B1000. And you can look at all those online and you can see the re full review of this G-Shock MTG G G MTG B1000D-1A on a block to watch. Thanks so much.